Hello Raiders, we're doing World Boss, the physical World Boss. It is October the 20th. Now, I did this run yesterday, and as you can see, what is wrong with this picture? Am I even allowed to have that much dark costumes? Granted, you get lucky enough from the Halloween event boxes, but even still, like, something's wrong. And Vespa recently rectified this with the urgent maintenance that they had recently and re-rolled everything back. Well, not everything, I mean, when I got all these costumes. So I'm only limited to one costume. But if you're smart enough, you'd know how to get around and buy the costume for everyone else without having to spend rubies. So, on to this world boss. Um, when this first boss came out, I was having a lot of trouble, mainly because I was a magic DPS inclined hero. Like, I didn't have any physical um, DPSers, right? I only had Selene, which was at Transcendence 1, Mitra at Transcendence 2, but I had their unique weapons already upgraded. So, in this video, I have Selene's unique at 3 stars, which I wasn't intended on doing anyways i just kept rolling on archer classes and then i had a lot of copies for selene and then i just yoloed upgraded it and then boom i got a three star unique wow because i was really going for arch anyways so with her recent buff like she does amazing as you can see she's constantly being buffed with by priscilla right um and that's one thing I want to talk about is Priscilla's rotations. Try doing manual mode on the world boss, right? A couple of times and jot down your damage output. Now, try it on auto and you'll find yourself doing more DPS. And my theory is that when you do it on manual mode, there's a certain allotted time in which your sub team casts their skills. So when they're off cooldown, they're not casting it right away, even though they have the mana for it. But when you put it on auto mode, now their skills become regulated. So they're constantly dishing out their skills in rotation, right? It's just a theory, but check that out. I think it's... Someone can debunk me, but, you know, I just find that you do more damage when you put on auto. Um, but don't do auto if your DPS is lacking or your team's gear is lacking. I'm, I'm able to put it on auto because I have sufficient heals. I have sub healing from Annette, right? My main three healers is Gao, Frey, and Kaula. And my tank is Philip. I do have Philip at Transcendence level 3 just to maximize the damage output from my physical damage heroes like Priscilla and Celine. I chose to go with light on um, on Philip's transcendence perk number three. I find that you do more damage with light as opposed to dark. And then with Celine, I only had her at T1, but I chose to upgrade her to T5 because her recent buff just made her overall amazing in all contents. Now I haven't tried her in PvP. But I believe she'd do well because her buff, like she has more attack with her passive. Um, what else? Her first skill does 12 more shots as opposed to 10. And then her skill two, I think was, there's an increase in 40% more damage. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, she just does so well in this uh, world boss it doesn't really matter what my lineup is if I put uh, my main damage dealer in the main DPS team or the sub team because of because I'm putting this on auto so look she's doing a constant 25 mil damage now you could use other um, tanks like Ricardo because Ricardo's passive is amazing like he absorbs well your team is granted a lot of um, 
magic defense, right? And then with his unique also, he's absorbing that damage. So I would recommend getting Ricardo as your tank as well. Now I just chose to go with Philip because I don't have Ricardo. I don't have his unique. I think his unique is a really good bonus, um, but I don't have him, like I said. So this is my lineup. If you find that this lineup works well, it's doable. I mean, it's viable. You have three healers. You have a sub, pat, um, sub support healer. So that's you're getting four heals, right? You have your CCer, which is Gao. You have your main tank Philip. You have your buffer, Priscilla, and your main DPS, who could be like Nyx or Celine, or Mitra, right? So I think this team works well. Now I'll try maybe a manual team. Um, sometime soon, maybe when I transcendence for Kaula. Overall, did 10.5 billion damage on auto. Which I'm happy about that. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.